So going in via the Reading Coach Library again, um, again into resources to use with turning pages and again into resources mapped to turning pages, um, we come to this area here where we've got TP1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, the activities we just looked at. Uh, but we've also got this Anspear Reader Phonics Resources Guide, which we click on that, we go to a document which contains within it a link to the Anspear website. It's anspear.com. Now, you could just Google anspear.com and go in that way, but you can also just click on this link. That takes me directly in because my computer's set up to do that. The um, the Anspear materials um, are something that Read Easy UK have got an agreement that we can access. So all we need is a, a username and a password. That username and password will go straight into these materials and see this front page. Now, the idea of Anspear is that they're online books, essentially, with some interactive elements to them. So let's just have a quick look at uh, some of them. So you've got short stories, first of all. Um, some are very short stories. Micro stories are literally sort of one page long. Others are a little bit longer, but they're all stories that you could share with your reader. And if we go back to the same menu before, you look at reader phonics level one, level two, and level three, where we've got stories with different levels of difficulty. So if we go and click into level one, you'll see there's quite a nice range of stories. I'm not so quite sure I can scroll down, but you, you get the point. Um, and if I just go into one of these stories at random, say um, ham and eggs, then you'll see that you've got a series of sort of menus here to click onto. The first one to click onto is the mentor notes, because that tells you a little bit about um, where the reader would be expected to be in order to be able to access this particular book. So before reading ham and eggs, it's expected that learners are confident with all the letter sounds, including ch, sh, s, and k and can blend them into words. Learners need to be familiar with these essential everyday words as well, was, the, she, he, etc. So that's the first thing that's useful if you're looking to find some materials that match where your reader is at the moment. Um, you can then just read the story. Stan met Bet at the truck stop. Stan was a truck driver and Bet ran the truck stop on the A41. Come to the next page, etc. Read the read it through. You can you can listen to everyday words that are going to appear in the story. Was. For. You can listen to words that are specific to the story that are going to crop up. Road. Her. You can do true and false questions to test uh, the reader's understanding of what they've been reading. The ham was cut thin with soft eggs on top. I don't know whether that's true or false. I got it right. And there's a quick quiz as well. So. Was. That's was. What. So some nice activities there all online that you can use.